Well, hello everybody and welcome. My name is Roger and this is your daily tarot map for Thursday, July 2nd, 2015, using tarot to create the life you want. Well, first off, I want to thank everybody for liking these videos, for sharing them, for subscribing to this channel. As always, I really appreciate your support. So, this week we continue working with the Robin Wood Tarot, created and illustrated by Robin Wood. And the three cards drawn randomly from the deck today were the Emperor, the Nine of Wands, and the Seven of Cups. So, the Emperor rules first position of our spread today. Now, if you remember, the Emperor is the card of the leader of taking initiative action or, at the very least, establishing a plan of, re of action. Um, notice the word action here. See, that's what this dude is all about. He takes charge, he gives orders, and he creates structure. Now, when he graces us with his regal presence in a reading, it's, it's to remind us that uh, of the need to uh, take, perhaps taking charge of a situation, uh, maybe even needing to assert your authority. You might find yourself smack in the middle of a, such a situation today. So, uh, so here's the chance for you to shine. You know, see, the emperor here is telling us that we'll be able to plow through whatever obstacles we're currently facing, and uh, and we'll manage to complete our projects or complete our goals, uh, whatever that might be. Now, although you might need to get over one tiny hurdle first, which is hinted at by our next card, the Nine of Wands. So here we see a fellow with a bandaged head who is on the defensive. You know, having recently gone through challenging times, he's expecting the worst, uh, maybe waiting for the other shoe to fall. So in order to assert that authority that we mentioned with the emperor, you might have to find that little extra burst of energy to pull you through, no matter how exhausted you might be. You know, the Nine of Wands could very well represent a rough project that's, that's had you um, burning the candle at both ends, or maybe maybe you're taking night classes and working full-time during the day. But now is not the time to give up. You know, the Nine of Wands is about having the energy, the drive, the will to succeed. So, so take any opportunity you can find, and you can find a rest, gather up your energy, and then it's back to your post. Now, given that this card is number nine, lets us know that we're nearing the finish line. But this is also the point where you're gonna, we're going to want to put in as much effort as we can. You know, this is a card of strength and perseverance. So, even though we might feel like we're at wit's end, we know we'll, we're going to need to push, push past those obstacles, past the pain, and do what needs to be done. Now, it bears mentioning here that both the Emperor and the Nine of Wands can be associated with defense, about being on the defensive. So you might find yourself in, uh, in that kind of a uh, situation today. But the best strategy for this is to be extra prepared should the situation arise. So anyway, for our last card, we have the Seven of Cups. And that, uh, so that signifies moving from hoping and wishing, typically represented by this card, into the manifestation stage. Now, given that this watery card is, um, is ill-dignified by the fire card next to it, things become clearer than they have been as they move from the conceptual into the material. Uh, you might even be able to see an end through all this madness that you've been recently going through. So, so whatever it is that's been taking up all your energy is coming to fruition, allowing you to breathe a little bit easier. But in order to truly succeed here, you're going to want to stick with it to the end and, uh, and don't lose your focus. Not when you're this close. You know, use the willful energy of the emperor to see this through to the end and then allow yourself to bask in success. So, the message here for these three cards is, our dreams don't become manifest through magic. It takes guts, dedication, willpower, determination, and a lot of hard work. So today's advice card comes from the Chronicles of Destiny Fortune cards, and the card drawn randomly from the deck is number 33, The Fellowship. So remember all those challenges that we talked about earlier? Well, the good news is that you don't have to go at it alone. You have others that you can rely on who, uh, who may be able to release to uh, ease your burden somewhat. So don't be afraid to rely on your team, your allies, to help you accomplish your goals. You know, things go a hell of a lot smoother when you work together. And uh, that's your daily tarot map for today. Um, if you liked this video, I'd appreciate it if you click the like button below. And uh, that's it for today. 
Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Brightest blessings.